Hey, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm a rock. I'm here in, in Lincoln, Nebraska, and we're making rocks. Hello, I'm Dr. Ron Bonstetter. I'm director of secondary science education at the University of Nebraska. But in my spare time, I like to play with rocks. Here we have an official rock that we've been doing some work with. And in fact, I've got a layer of rubber over the top of this with a, a graving cut out. And I'm able then to blast this with particles and cut away at the rock. All right, now when you uh, sandblast this, uh, what kind of sandblast? What kind of sandblasting material are you using? Well, I've used several, but uh, I realized early on that uh, the harder the material that I use, or the denser, the more mass of the material, the better it does and the faster it cuts. So we're, we're, we're using granite, right? Okay, or we're so using garnet right now. You're using garnet to cut into the granite. Now, garnet has a, a lot of mass, and uh, do you happen to know how fast it comes out of that sandblaster? I do not. Okay, it's uh, compressed. What's the compression? I'm running at about 120 PSI. Okay, so that's um, uh, pounds per square inch. Uh, so it's coming out, let's say, real fast. So it has a lot of momentum when it hits this. Now, why doesn't it just cut right through the rubber? When it hits the rubber, I mean, it's going to hit the rock, it's chipping away at granite. Why? So it's got enough force, it's got enough momentum to chip away at granite. So why doesn't the rubber uh, get eaten away by the sandblasting material? Because the sandblasting material comes in contact with the rubber, and actually the, it takes more time then for that uh, that that particle to stop. And okay. so we've increased the time necessary for it to stop compared to when it hits the granite. It hits the granite, it immediately has an impact, and as a result, it uh, chips away at the granite. Okay, so more time to stop, less force on the rubber, less time to stop, more force on the granite. That's correct. So it's got the same momentum hitting both of them. That's right. It's the same, the material's coming out, the same uh, mo same speed, same velocity, everything's the same. Okay. So because there's more time to stop, less force on the rubber. Okay, this is great. And it works. It works. In Lincoln, Nebraska, and we're making rocks. Dr. Altman rocks. Yeah, that was lame. All right.